everybody, my name is Mikey, and welcome to Webcam Wednesday. A welcome, that is correct, you have landed on Webcam Wednesday, the day of the week where I talk about stuff, issues that are going on, the coming week, and I take questions and answer them. So let's get started. Topic number one, the streamings. So this past Sunday, an organization from the internet put on an award show honoring online talent, new media and stuff, YouTube, stuff like that. Let's just say that it didn't go as they planned. Tons of things went wrong with the streamings. But, like, seriously, um, not only were there technical difficulties, I've been given to understand that they didn't even do a technical rehearsal. That means that the, when they were doing the streamings, they did it for the first time, one take. That n is never good. The vulgarity of the things. I mean, the sex jokes, the dirtiness, the nastiness. Apparently there was a ton of it. And people's kids, grandparents, and parents were in attendance and watching. That's just not excusable. Not to mention, from what I've been given to understand, uh, now I didn't see it, but what I've been given to understand is that a lot of the skits and everything were also very, very kind of awkward. But what's really interesting about the streamies is what's happened uh, in, in the aftermath. Essentially, everybody kind of bashing it and, uh, and talking bad about it and kind of discussing about the streamies. One of the things that people are talking about is how the streamies kind of set new media and internet media back. And the internet is a tough place to kind of get a foot in the door as it is. And, you know, we don't need any more kind of setbacks. Not only did the big sponsor Stride Gum completely pull out and request their $100,000 back, but the show itself kind of made fun of YouTubers. Not only YouTubers, but internet media and the profession. So essentially the streamies were hurting and not helping. And we need all the help we can get. Only one YouTuber was awarded. Congratulations to Shane Dawson. He won the award for best vlogger. That's definitely a major step forward for all of us YouTubers. Second on our agenda, to have everything written down right here so I don't forget because I won't remember it all um, and I have a ton of stuff that I want to talk about. Two simple words. Taxes suck. End of story. I mean, okay, I understand that taxes, you know, help to pay for, uh, for law enforcement, fire department, uh, keep the roads up, everything that goes into living a safe and healthy life uh, for us Americans. But honestly, if you've ever been a teenager working a part-time job, going to school, and having to pay several hundred dollars in taxes, the word sucks pretty much describes it. So I filed my taxes on Monday. And between the state and federal government, I owe over $400 in taxes. That's ridiculous. Last year, I only owed less than $100. I don't understand it, but I did some investigating, and here's what I came up with. Basically, this past year, the government passed the, uh, the, the, the whole the government passed the whole stimulus package thing that was supposed to increase the economy and, uh, and boost that and kind of take America out of this toilet that we've been in for a while. But there was a catch. See, a part of that, a very small part, like you have to read the fine print that stated that less taxes were going to be taken out of the American people's paychecks throughout the year. But the government still wants its money back. So instead of taking little bit by little bit by little bit, you have to pay one big chunk later. Now, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds a lot like uh, a loophole. It's a false, it's a false good. It's a false, I, I don't know, even know the word, but it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a false sense of security. Now, I know a lot of American citizens would agree with me that they would much rather have a little bit taken out paycheck by paycheck than have one lump sum. That $400 is a paycheck, a paycheck that I no longer have. But again, I probably shouldn't be complaining because I do live in America, but still, taxes suck. It's ridiculous. Let's talk about the coming week. All right, so this week we have a really exciting thing coming up. On Saturday and Sunday, Kevin and I are gonna be shooting a movie. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna be in a movie. So my friend and coworker at work, Chris Reimer, is part of Warehouse 1904 Productions. They've got a project that they're, that they're calling Delta Zulu. Now, I can't give too much of it away, although I have been given clearance to vlog as much as I want. Uh, but essentially, it's, uh, it's kind of like uh, 28 Days Later meets uh, District 9. 
you know, the story of 28 Days Later and the style of District 9. So that brings us to our final segment of Webcam Wednesday. I'm talking questions and answers. So let's get it started. So every week, starting with this week, I'm asking you guys to provide questions in the comments below. Anything you want. Personal, general, the meaning of life. I don't care. If you want to ask it, ask it. If I can't answer it, I can't answer it. Let's go for your questions. Question number one comes from WM Gels, or for those of you that who watch my vlogs, my friend John in Sweden. He asks, Mike, what is your plan after you finish school? Well, John, that's a really good question because I'm not completely certain on exactly what I want to do. Now, I can tell you that I do want to go on to a higher education. Now, what that's probably going to entail is me moving up to L.A., closer to the film scene, you know, where the, the, the big wigs hang out. Basically, I would move up there, probably go to one of the four-year schools, UCLA or USC. They both have awesome film programs. And uh, get my, get my uh, bachelor's degree while trying to get into the, uh, the industry. Next question. Stealthy Snatch 15, my buddy from Canada, asks, Did you play baseball in the league? Yes, I did play baseball in the league. I played from, uh, from age uh, 6 till about, uh, till about 12. Um, I, I started off in T-ball in, uh, in, you know, uh, a league closer to where we meet with scouts. And then I, uh, I, I progressed through minors, uh, you know, caps, minors, and majors. Yes, I did play in a league. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was some of the funnest times of my life. Now, user Rivets asks via Twitter, do you have any advice on starting up a daily vlog? Um, it, it essentially boils down to one thing. Just do it. It took me the longest time to kind of break down and just say, all right, today I'm starting my daily vlogs. Especially if you're planning on doing it like for a full year, like like Shay Carl or Charles Trippy. It just takes that commitment to, to, to find a day to start it and to just go. Just go through it. So many times last year I, I found significant days like my birthday, uh, or, or Thanksgiving or Christmas where I said, you know what, I think I'm gonna start that daily vlog today. And when it got to, to New Year's, I basically just said, all right, it's, it's the beginning of the year, I'm just gonna go for it. And now that I've gotten into the habit of doing the daily vlogs and everything, it's actually fairly easy. So for all of you future vloggers out there, good luck. User Isaac the Funny asks, I love your hair, dude. Um, well, that's not a question, uh, but, but thank you. Uh, I'm sure it loves you too. Viewer Bear Bagley asks, being in the Boy Scouts, are you Mormon? No, in fact, I, I'm not Mormon. Although I've known plenty of Mormons. Uh, my, best friend, my, my best friend through middle school and high school was Mormon. But no, uh, nobody in my family is Mormon. Actually, I don't believe anybody in our troop is Mormon. Kind of raises the question on my part uh, that, uh, you know, uh, where does that, that come from? Is it a stereotype that I'm not aware of, or is it, uh, um, you know, is it, is it more common in other areas for, uh, for Mormons to, uh, you know, be involved in scouting? I did get a comment the other day, uh, when, uh, I said that we were at the church that, uh, that, uh, oh no, are you a bunch of Mormons? In fact, no, we're, uh, we're not Mormon. We're actually not religious as a, as a group, as far as scouts go. We meet at the church because our old meeting place, uh, which was a, a school, started charging uh, insane amounts for us to meet there. And the church opened their arms and said, you and uh, our Cub Scout pack uh, can meet here uh, free of charge, uh, at pretty much as much as you want. And finally, we have a seriously random question uh, submitted by uh, my little brother, Kev Can't Stop. What is your favorite form of chicken? Well, I, I have to say that uh, um, I, I do like pretty much all chicken, roast chicken, grilled chicken, fried chicken, chicken nuggets, chicken pot pie, chicken sandwiches, chicken wings, and the list goes on. But that's it for question Wednesday. Thank you for everybody who sent in your questions. Once again, put your questions below in the comments. I will also send out a tweet next Wednesday before we do webcam Wednesday uh, asking for your questions. Um, if I've already answered a question of yours, feel free to ask me another question. Uh, I could always use more questions to answer uh, because I really want to get this to be a conversation between uh, you and me. So once again, my name is Mikey. You've been watching Webcam Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I hope you had an awesome day today, and I will see you guys on the flip side.